Welcome. Now in this module, let's look at the information security departmental structure for a large sized organization. So how does the CISO build up this team and what are the different uh, parts of uh, the organogram? Uh, let's look at the recommended structure for a large organization in the following slide. So the CISO uh, leads the information security department and um, you, know, you, you have a program manager. Now the job of the program manager is that there's different activities, projects, tasks going on, and the program manager brings sense to all of that, keeps track of the progress, and uh, you know, treats projects um, as individual components of a complete program or the security transformation program, and um, you know, monitors and reports progress. So you have four different units. There's security engineering, uh, which is uh, obvious because security engineering is about having domain knowledge or expertise belonging to a specific area, security operations, which is the day-to-day -day activities like managing an antivirus, running a vulnerability management scan, the security governance, policies, procedures, uh, things like that, training awareness, and the security frameworks and standards like ISO 27001, COBIT, or PCI. So this slide shows those uh, functions. So security engineering is domain knowledge, Security operations, antivirus, running a security operations center, running security tools. Um, in security governance, we would look at policies, procedures, training, and uh, maybe compliance and uh, audit activity. Security frameworks and standards, we would look at uh, ISMS, COBIT, CMMI, for example. And um, here, in security engineering, in this slide, you can see that we would cover domain expertise for the network uh, security, system security, application security, and database security. and um, in the security operations, we're going to be running various security tools. In security governance, you have audit, training, compliance, SOPs, and policies. And you would be running as different projects. Let's say a PCI initiative would fall under the unit being looked after by the security frameworks and standards team. Now, these are the approximate numbers for a large-sized team of information security. You have one CISO, one program manager, about six security engineering staff, which would cover, let's say, one for network security, one for system security, one for application security, one for database, that's four. And then um, you would have maybe two more people covering other domains, uh, possibly. And then in security operations, you have maybe three or four people who are sitting in shifts. And uh, let's say if there are five people sitting in shifts in security operations, and they're looking after the antivirus and, and the tools and and uh, monitoring the IDS and IPS and the events and looking at the security information event management and they're doing password uh, management activities. So all of the security operations activities being done, five people in a shift and three shifts, that's 15 people. And security governance now, policies, you have one person for um, training and awareness, you would have another person for compliance, maybe another person that's about three or four people. And for security frameworks and standards, you would maybe have one manager and one or two people to help that person. So that's three people. So if you add all of these up, it's about 30 people. Now, in a large organization, um, which has a large IT team, uh, a large organization can have an information security team ranging between, let's say, 25 to 30 people. This is what we usually see in Pakistan. Uh, and that would be about, you know, following the benchmark rule of thumb, which is about 10% of IT. So overall, there would be 250 to 300 IT staff, and maybe the whole entire organization staff would be 10,000 people, uh, uh, you know, five, four or 5,000 people, and then you would have 250 to 300 IT staff from that, and about 25 to 30 uh, information security staff. And that's uh, um, the, uh, you know, kind of structure and number that we have for a large team. In the next modules, we look at for a medium-sized team and a small team as well. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.